Welcome to Sunday Night Light, where I highlight a single quote from the General Conferences of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a way to bring a little light to the start of your week. Welcome to Sunday Night Light, where we try to start every week off right with a little light. Uh, today we'll be sharing a conference quote. It's a pretty old one. I think it's the oldest one I've shared yet, but I mean, really, the general conferences of the church go all the way back to 1830. <laughs> so uh, this is from April 1942. And it's by Elder Charles A. Chalice, or Callis. I don't know, I'm not sure which one of those is correct, if either. <laughs> Uh, and he was one of the Quorum of the Twelve at the time. And he, it's him quoting another person, but I thought this was a really good quote. He says, Charles Evan Hughes gave this definition of a Christian character. Faith without credulity. Conviction without bigotry. Charity without condescension. Courage without pugnacity. Good word self-respect without vanity, humility without obsequiousness, another good word, love of humanity without sentimentality, and meekness with power. So yeah, that's a, that's a really interesting list. I think that the idea here is saying that even virtuous things that we do can be taken to the extreme. And if you do them for the wrong reason, or you take them to the extreme, then a, even a virtue can become a vice. And that's what we, we're looking for in a, in a Christian character, is we're looking for that moderation that Christ teaches. That we, we don't, we're on the straight and narrow path. It's a very narrow way where we're, we're not off here all the way to the left we're not all the way off here to the right we're on the straight and narrow path that he has defined so well, let's, let's just take one of these charity without condescension so on, on one end of the spectrum we could have no charity for somebody and we could just say ah you know they're what's happening to them that's all their own faults. I'm not going to help. Who cares about them? You know, that would be on one end. And on the other end, we have condescension. Say so like, oh, you know, you poor little thing. You know, I shall be the one to sweep, to sweep in and solve all of your problems. So yeah, and you're in a really condescending way, right? To kind of sort of talking down to them. I mean, there's, you're acting like you have charity uh, when it's really that you are doing good works or you're giving to the poor or whatever so that you can make yourself look good and so that you can feel superior to other people and you condescend to them. So we don't want to be all the way to this extreme or all the way to this extreme. What we need is the straight and narrow path between the extremes. And that is having charity for the right reason. That we're, liter we're just filled with that pure love of Christ and we want to help other people not because we think we're better than them but we, that we see them as a brother or a sister and we just have that love in us and we act out of that love so I think that works for all of these like um, another one self-respect without vanity so on one hand you could have yeah, so let's do the same hands. <laughs> yeah, one hand, you could be have completely no regard for yourself, no self respect. You just kind of let yourself go, and who cares? You're completely careless with your your person out, your person, and what you do, and how you take care of yourself. On the other hand, you can go so far that you're you are completely self centered. You've taken that self-respect uh, to the extreme and it's become vanity. So that you, once again, <laughs> it always leads back to pride, it feels like. You know, you, you take a, 
a virtue too far and it, it circles around and becomes pride. Uh, it, you've got that vanity where you're only looking at yourself. You think that you're better than other people and you love yourself so much that it's to the exclusion of others. So the Christian character is, of course, not to think that we're nothing and not take care of ourselves and do nothing for our appearance <laughs> or uh, or have no self-esteem. And it's another thing to be completely self-absorbed and vain. And what Christ asks us to walk is that straight and narrow path in the middle. This is good. Um, all of these uh, opposites are, are, are really telling. And I think that's a great quote, that, that this defines a Christian character, is the ability to walk the straight and narrow path without giving in to the extremes. So a couple of scriptures that go with this. Uh, I, I love this one on charity in Moroni 7.45. This is they talked about charity. Uh, this highlights what it means to actually be charitable without it moving into condescension. That's why you, nowhere in this verse will you hear about condescension. <laughs> and charity suffereth long and is kind and envieth not and is not puffed up, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil and rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoice, rejoiceth in truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. That's Moroni 7, 45, one of the last chapters of the Book of Mormon, and I, I feel one of my favorites. Yeah, so nowhere in here are you, are you, <laughs> are you looking at yourself or you're looking down on others. They seeketh not her own, is not puffed up, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. That, that's just a, a beautiful thing. And then finally, I've got another one here in Doctrine and Covenants 121, verses 41 and 42. No power or influence can or ought to be maintained by virtue of the priesthood, only by persuasion, by long suffering, by gentleness and meekness, and by love unfeigned, by kindness and pure knowledge, which shall greatly enlarge the soul without hypocrisy and without guile. I think that goes really well with the last thing on his list, meekness with power. So if you take it to the, the extreme where you just focus on, the, on having power without including the meekness, that's where you go wrong. Yeah, especially when we're talking about priesthood power. And if you have the priesthood power, it has to be accompanied with meekness. And how it talks in this scripture, it, it uh, goes even a little bit deeper. By persuasion, long-suffering, gentleness and meekness, and love unfeigned by kindness and pure knowledge. Yeah, that's not the way of the world. <laughs> there, there are so many people in the world that lead just with power with, and without mingling with meekness. And that's how priesthood holders and Christians and Latter-day Saints more generally can be different from the world. We need to get that, that straight and narrow path that, you know, we're, on one hand, we're not saying, oh, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And say, I don't want any power and cowering in a corner. And on the other hand, we're, we're not saying, you know, I, I don't want only the power and I want to bend others to my will. No, it's that straight and narrow path down the center. All right. Well, that's what I have for today. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that helps start your week out right. And until next time, keep a little light with you. <laughs>